Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, John here. In this video, I'll show you how I made this Raindrop Damascus chef's knife. It's got a mahogany handle and it's 80 layers of 1084 and 15 and 20. Um, I know most of my content is woodworking. Um, about a decade ago, I did some blacksmithing and I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't losing any of my skills there. I recently got a new anvil, a new forge, and so on. Also, if you haven't already noticed, most of my content recently has been shorts. Um, I had twins in January and it's kind of a lot of work. I also have a full-time job. This is just a hobby. So most of my content lately has been shorts. It's just a lot easier to record, a lot easier to edit. Uh, the full length videos just take a lot of effort. So I'm gonna get back into woodworking as well and doing longer form uh, content again. My next projects are gonna be a pickler triangle for the twins that should be pretty fun it'll have some wood turning and you know some live edge walnut i think so that'll be really cool and then i'm going to do a, a round table for the family it's going to be mulberry and i've got some uh, crotch figured walnut that i'm going to do some wedges with so that'll be pretty cool as well um so stay tuned well it's a cold dreary day and i'm a bit sick let's see it's 8 11 10 and 84 and 15 and 20 sitting at 10 layers. Got my anvil warmed up. Got the billet just about ready to go. I'm gonna use borax in between the seams there. I'm going to use a two and a half pound rounding hammer. I'm going to use the flat side lightly to set the initial weld. Okay, first weld, 836. this log splitter into a little bit of a press by just welding out a couple A34 blocks and then grinding them down to a flat surface and I'm going to use that it's kind of janky but it works I'm gonna use that to kind of draw things out Okay, so that'll make it a lot easier to hold. I lost a lot of material doing that, but this is going to be a kitchen knife anyway, so who cares? 938, I'm now at 20 layers of the 1084, 15 and 20. Welds look pretty good. You can see kind of a seam there, but that's just on the exterior.
I'm just gonna cut and fold one last time. 80 should be plenty for a raindrop pattern. I think I'm gonna do a raindrop on this one. So I'm at 80 layers. So it's 11.41, I've got the raindrop pattern all drilled out. I used two different size bits and it goes super deep. We'll see how it looks. I got this little straining jig that I set up. It's basically just a couple angle irons, vise. Put it in there, keeps it nice and straight while it's cooling. So I finished forging at probably about noon yesterday, so it was about four hours to so get to 80 layers, <coughs> starting from 10. And uh, now I've just got some grinding to do. I got a profile, bring this up a little bit. I gotta make sure that the seam here isn't gonna cause problems. I may have to bring the, the uh, tang up to here we'll see there's a little bit of a seam there hopefully it's just on the surface and i can grind it out but um yes yeah, so i'm going to start with the 24 grit and probably end up at about 2000. <laughs> quick test etch looks awesome so I'm going to put this in the acid for probably 15 minutes. <laughs> 